everyone. You recognize this? Yep, it's the bathroom. And the shower curtain is still surviving. My favorite shower curtain that I bought at Payless Drugstore like forever ago. Or no, no, not drugstore, just Payless. Um, a long time ago, a long, long time ago. I love the shower curtain. Anyway, my roommates, I don't know where they're at, but they're somewhere, so I thought, you know what? It's the best lighting, good acoustics, my favorite shower curtain. So we'll just chat, because I miss chatting with you guys. And uh, it's Friday, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. This is where I'm wearing my R2-D2 tank top that I bought at VidCon a few years ago. I love it. I'm not much, I mean, I remember Star Wars when it first came out, and like, it was good, I like it, like, I like the first Star Wars, I mean, I'm not, like, a, a super geek like that, but I, like, I do like the Star Wars, and it is May 4th, so it's perfect for it, it's, when people get it, it's Friday night, I may go out, I may not. I had a major allergy attack. I know everyone, you're probably sick of me saying this, but sometimes I get really bad ones. And I have, this one was so bad, I had to take a Zyrtec D, which you know you have to get it, you can't get it over the counter. You have to go to the pharmacy for it. And even if it's non drowsy, it kind of just messes you up. After an allergy attack, I'm always lethargic, I'm always tired. Even if it's non-drowsy medicine, it just messes with you. So I might go out, I might not. Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. There's a lot of parties going on. There's even a party here where I live on the roof that I might go to. There's a lot of options, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. And plus, it's going to be a beautiful day. I might just lay out on the beach. I don't know. There's a lot of options. And I still, like, I might go out tonight. And I was watching Lena Paytas. Again, she's making videos again, and she's talking about going out, and she needs maybe find a cowboy and all stuff. And I'm, I'm going through the same kind of thing she's going through. But I'm trying to think, like, you know what? I need to find someone that likes what I like, so I need to do things that I like to do. However, I'm not going to find anyone sitting on the couch watching movies, right? Because they're probably watching movies at their house. So I need to go out. And I'm thinking maybe like maybe like an old surfer. Like I don't want any young I'm I'm over the young people. I've I've dated the young guys. I want like a maybe an older surfer or an older older skateboarder that's did it, done it, been there, wanna settle down, just kind of just hang and chill. However, I don't want to be tied down with a um too much of a homebody because I do still like to go out and do things, you know. I like to go to like punk rock shows. So I need to do more punk rock gigs. I need to do stuff that I like to do and hopefully I will find a guy in the atmosphere that I like to do. So I need to go out myself. <laughs> I need to go out myself. I need to I need to do stuff, but I don't know if it's going to be tonight. We'll see. We'll see. My head is still messed up from the allergy medicine. I don't like taking medicine, especially like allergy medicine. Because the best allergy medicine is the antihistamine, like the uh, ben, uh, Benadryl, but that just puts you to sleep. That's good for at nighttime, but during the day, like allergy medicine, no matter what, non-drowsy, I don't care. It still messes with you, so I don't know. But I was thinking about bucket lists. Now, my bucket list is probably not going to be like most people's bucket list, like flying off a building, going skydiving, going to Greece, going to here, going, traveling, I've been traveling, I went all over the world, like I even went to England, London, I rented a car in Paris and drove all the way to Amsterdam, like I've done things, like it's great, I love traveling, don't get me wrong, it's good, but home, there's nothing that beats home, I love home. My bucket list is very, like it's, oh I didn't bring my glasses, did I? Okay. My bucket list is a doable one. I, I don't have a major bucket list like go to Greece, go here. Because if I do it, I do it. I'm not going to put it on the list because I don't want to put expectations like that on myself. This is my bucket list. I'm going to share with you. Number one, Brea Tar Pits. I know everyone says Brea Tar Pits. Oh, I went there as a kid, as a field trip. And looking back, going to school, 
I don't know. Maybe I did go on a field trip to the Bray Tar Pits, but if I did, I don't remember. I don't think we did. I don't think I've ever been to the Bray Tar Pits. However, I could be wrong. I might have been to the Bray Tar Pits, but the Bray Tar Pits fascinate me. There's tar. I tell people this. I know people like look at me like, what? I want to touch the tar. And I know you can't touch the tar. My finger would burn off. I get it. But I just want to put a stick in it. I want to put a rock in it. I want to just look at the tar. The tar pits fascinate me. Where the dinosaurs died and all that. I don't know. Like maybe this is a fantasy in my head. Maybe when I get there, it's going to be rinky dinky and not great. But for some reason, it fascinates me. And I remember when I used to go to the Playboy Mansion all the time, and when I used to live there, I would drive by the Brea Tar Pits all the time, and I never went. So that is on my bucket list, the Brea Tar Pits. It is very doable. I get it. But now I don't go to the mansion. I don't go by there very, very often. I don't like driving to L.A. It has to be like an event. I need to go do it. And I'm going to do it, hopefully. Okay, phone. I need to do it one of these days. So that is on my bucket list. Brea Tar Pits. Another one, the Wigwam Hotels. Now it got bad reviews. I, I followed Justin Scarrett from Random Land Adventures, and they are they don't they're really bad service. But Wigwam Motels, I don't even know where they're at, maybe in Arizona, I don't know. But they they're teepees and they're motels and you stay there. Now, just a run like not Justin Red, Justin Scarrett, he films for YouTube. Like, he's one of us. And he got fined. Like, he had to pay, like, a lot of money just for filming. So it's really bad. So I don't know. It's on my bucket list, but it's kind of like, because they, they, will, they will charge you a fee to film, which doesn't make sense because everyone has cell phones and everyone is filming everything, whether it's on YouTube or not. So I don't get that. I don't even know if it's true, but I do want to go to the Wigwam Hotels. The teepee. Central Basco. So, okay, if you hear meowing, that's Frankie. He found the blanket. He's doing with it. Central Basco. Okay, if you know me, you know my. Um, I'm a mixed race. I'm a bunch of stuff. But one of the things I am is French Basque. Like there's Spanish Basque and French Basque. But there's a place called Central Basco, and it's in Chino. And they have French Basque food, and it's big events, and it's kind of a it's kind of a big restaurant, but they're not open all the time. They're, they're so what I don't know yet. I don't I don't know what to say about it, but that's one of the things on my bucket list is Central Basco. Another one, Clifton's. Clifton's. I think I forget the real whole name, but it's Clifton's. It's in downtown LA, and it looks really huge. It's like an old school like. 1920s type of restaurant, cafeteria, bar, venue, like they have bands, I guess they have different rooms, it's in downtown LA, and has a, there's a tiki room in there and stuff like that, I guess they're going through renovations, so I don't know right now is a good time to go, but it's called Clifton's, and it's in downtown LA, I don't, I would give you more information, but I really don't, I know the Rayford Brothers are playing later uh, at that venue later this year or like sometime during the summer. I might try to go uh, because, um, I, you know me, I don't like to drive to L.A. I, I really don't like L.A. <laughs> uh, I live at the beach and L.A. is just, uh, but I want to try, I want to check out Clifton's. Another one's Pacific Dining Car. Now, if I remember... It's actually a railroad car, and you have dinners there, and it's it's a railroad car, like an old-fashioned, like, you know how I love trains. It's like a railroad car. I don't know anything about it too much because I don't have the, the Internet. Like, I'm not going to go on the Internet, but it's called the Pacific Dining Car. Now, this place I've, I've been to a lot, but I love it. It's Straw Hat Pizza. When I was a kid, my grandparents would always take me to Straw Hat Pizza, and there used to be a piano. They used to play like old movies, like Laurel, Laurel and Hardy. They, it was, it was awesome. I love Straw Hat Pizza. I love the pizza because it's really thin, and it was just an event. It was really cool, better than Shakey's. Oh, 
They have times better than Shady's. Straw Hat Pizza. There's one still here in Long Beach. And me and my husband used to go once in a while. It's not as big as when I used to go. When I used to go, this was a big place. And they used to play movies. Like I said, they had a piano. And sometimes they would have shows. It was just really awesome. But I want to go with a bunch of people who go to Straw Hat Pizza and do the salad bar and eat. I know. I've been there many times. It's not really a bucket list, but I threw it on there. Another one is called the P&J Bar. I heard about this place. It's in downtown LA as well. And all they do is make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And you think, what? But no, these are gourmet peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Like I saw it on a show. Like they get the white bread and they have like this cutter and they make it in circles. And they have like the normal peanut butter and jelly, but then they also have like um, uh, an espresso peanut butter and jelly. They have an Indian uh, food type of peanut butter and jelly with chutney and, and Indian spices. Like in other words, it's like a gourmet kind of peanut butter and jelly bar. It's like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And it sounds very ordinary and plain, but if you check it out, if you Google it, it's in downtown LA called the P&J Bar. Peanut butter and jelly bar, and their menu looks so awesome. And I want to try the Indian, the Mediterranean, I think it's called the Indian one. I want to try the Indian one, and I want to try the espresso, um, espresso um, peanut butter and jelly. I don't have the menu in front of me, but just check out P&J Bar in downtown L.A. I want to check that out. Another one is called, it's in downtown L.A. as well, I think it's called, because I watch this, I know, Eye on L.A. or something like that. Is jackfruit cafe. As you know, I'm a vegetarian. Jackfruit is a fruit, but it's it's almost like it's meat, but the fruit, when you shred it, it's almost like shredded. You can make it like shredded beef or shredded pork, or they like can make tacos. You can make almost anything out of this jackfruit. And there's a place called the Jackfruit Cafe, which is a vegan restaurant, and it looks so good. Like some of the stuff on the menu looks insane looks insane i want to check that out because i love the veggie grill if you're in the veggie grill if you're a vegetarian or vegan even if you're not i swear to god if you try some of their food you like i had one of their fried chicken sandwiches you would think for real it was real chicken in fact i did a mukbang if you look at my one of the videos where i was so hungry i was working all day working all day working all day and i was so hungry i went to veggie grill and i i got one of those and it was like a long wait and i was like i was hungry and it was so good like i literally had to like look at the receipt go on the website and make sure i really wasn't eating chicken because it tastes like chicken because veggie grill is good it's not on my bucket list because i've been there it's here i love the veggie grill there's always different things on the menu it's awesome but the jackfruit cafe looks insane i want to go there another one i've been to but they changed locations is johnny's in huntington beach it's like a punk rock bar but they made it into like a pizzeria bar it's like a whiskey jack and coke and whiskey like it's a punk rock bar they say they don't accept hippies and i hope they accept me because i'm kind of a hippie a little bit i'm a punk rock glam rock type of hippie chick but i like punk rock too <laughs> so uh, i want to go to johnny's in huntington beach and that's pretty much it on my bucket list like it i add more to it and i i cross things out that i have done and I'm sure I'm going to add more stuff. And see, like I say, my bucket list is nothing. But it's like it's like little things that are really close to me that is very doable. That a lot of times when you live close to things you don't do. Like there's a Queen Mary. I love the Queen Mary. I can go there all the time, but it's right there. I don't go there as often enough. There's a lot of things that's around here that I don't do often because I just take it for granted because it's right there. You know, like there's even things across the street I don't go to very often because it's right there. So these are all things that are pretty much close to me. I just got to get in my car and go. And most of them, like if you see downtown LA and, you know, my, I, I don't like LA. I don't. I don't like it. But there's some places I want to go and check out. Like it's fine to visit. I just would never live there. Never, ever in a million years. So, um. I thought I would share with you my bucket list, and I'm going to hopefully do it this year because they're very doable things, right? They're like not, and it's all weird. It's mostly all food related, but it's not really the food. It's like the atmosphere. It's like I just want to go there and check it out, 
And if I go by myself, I go by myself. If I don't, I don't. But, you know, I need to go out more to other um, beaches because, you know, Huntington Beach is really close. Seal Beach is pretty close. Sunset Beach is pretty close. Of course, Dog the Beach Cove are closed. So I'm really sad. But they're supposed to find a new location soon. So that was my place. Dawn the Beachcomber used to be my place when I didn't know what to do. Like tonight, I'm trying to find a band, but I forget it's the it's the Star Wars. There's a lot of clubs that are having like Star Wars theme and, and hip-hop, but I'm not into that. I'm not into the electric music. I'm not into that. I just like to see a band play, hopefully a hard rock band. I'm not into like the... I don't know. I just I want I just like punk rock or real hard rock and roll or glam rock and um and I'm googling and there's really not that much stuff. It's all Star Wars type of stuff. So I might just stay in the night or I might just walk around and just walk around. Cause tomorrow I'll probably just stay home because there's a party on the roof or um I don't know. There's some other single de Mayo stuff going on. I don't know. But that's my bucket list. I thought I would share with you. Oh, and I keep saying the birds are back. I don't know. It's like, but anyway. Yeah, birds. I was saying the birds were gone. They're back. There's other things I want to say, but I see the time on the ticker. and I don't like videos that go too long. But, okay. Thanks, Lena, for this inspiration. You're, you're inspiring me to do videos and just, you know, let's turn it on and talk. Because I miss this a lot. And maybe by me saying it and putting it out there, it'll encourage me to go to these places that I want to go. <laughs> Even if I go alone, I don't care. I'll, I'll bring you along. I'll bring the camera along with me if I go to these places. So we could check them out together and review them. So, of course, now it's springtime and summertime. So summer festivals, now my schedule is going to be all crazy. Because spring and summer, there's always something going on. So I'm going to have to really fit this in. And if I can't fit this in, I'll probably do it in the fall because fall is good. Another thing I want to do, I want to go to an RV Roadshow. That's another thing on my bucket list. RV Roadshow. I want to spend a day just looking at RVs and vans. You know, because I told you the idea of living in a van, living in an RV. That's just like on a side burner. Maybe, you know, like if, if, that, if all hell goes to hell. If all everything goes to hell in a handbasket, that's what I'll do. But I like RVs. I like looking at them, and I like looking at vans and stuff. So I would like to go to an RV road show uh, where they have vans, and it's kind of like a fair. But you can go around and look at different RVs and and um, trailers and um, and camper vans and stuff like that. So I want to do that. That's another thing I need to put down on my bucket list: RV road show, a really good one. A really good one, which I think is in October. There's a really big one coming in October, like the, the biggest RV road show in Southern California, and it's um, in October. So I'm going to try to go to that one. So anyway, to all my Stace Cadets and all my Briquettes, I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time, peace.